whenever I ride my bike, this always squeaks and that kind of wobbles a little bit. Like that. There's just too much play in it. I imagine this is probably coming undone in here. And these wheels probably haven't been lubricated since the 1970s. So let's take the wheels off, try to lubricate the insides of them, and then maybe try to do something about this. So I was going to do the wheels in the basement and do this outside because this is kind of hard to get down the stairs. But it's actually a lot lighter without the wheels on. So, hmm. Oh, there we go. Well, I am stumped. I could have sworn I heard something go down here and into the seat, but I can't find anything in there. And looks like we're missing one bearing, and that's definitely not good. I think if I look hard enough, I might be able to find a similarly sized bearing in one of my junk bikes. Perfect. Now I know that one was pretty rusty, but I imagine if, as long as I ride it a lot, that should clean it off pretty well. Plus, I imagine trying to clean a ball bearing is pretty hard. So I could use your guys' opinion on this. How tight should this be? Like, how tight should this stuff be in here? Like, like that. It It is a bit stiff, but it is very, very smooth also. I can figure out how tight that should be after I test and ride around a little bit. Let's work on this. Should those have grease on them? I would assume every bearing should have grease on them. These are totally dry. Looks like there was grease on here. The grease is just cracking off. It's so dry. It looks like this is actually a Shimano coaster rig. That's kind of interesting. I've heard of that company before. I, I've heard they're pretty good. You know, I've almost forgotten how these work. I seem to remember they're kind of like a screw mechanism, but that's about it. Oh, yeah. Not much grease on that at all. I remember one time I lost one of those brake pads from my main bike, and the bike did not break the same ever again. So I don't have this fancy little thin wrench to go underneath here, but I think I might be able to get away with just doing this. Well, that didn't work. I got my secret magic. A magnet! Oh, shit. Just pulled all the bearings out. Magnets. Nice. I kind of forgot about how these actually work. Looks like this is mostly okay. I mean, it looks okay to me. Although I'm really no expert. I don't have much experience with taking these apart. I do think this should probably be well slathered with grease, though.
Those aren't going anywhere now. Perfect. So there were a few issues I had to deal with. I tightened the spokes to make sure that it was the wheel was straighter. And I accidentally had this too loose. So it started unscrewing slightly. And so then it started moving out and messing everything up. So I got that nice and tight down now. Back here, looks like I have, I was wondering where that big bolt went, or that big nut, I mean. So it looks like I got those, something flipped around, to where now I've basically moved the entire wheel over just enough to where this chain now rubs up against this piece of angle iron that I have. So it makes a slight sound. I haven't fixed that, but I'll deal with that someday in the future. It's just an audio issue, so it's it's not really much of a functionality issue. Although tonight I might tear that apart. But I think that this bike should be pretty, pretty good. Unfortunately, there's still that squeaking sound. It definitely is a lot more drag on all the wheels having oil and having the stuff tight. I mean, it's better that way, but still. Well, that's a real shame. It, uh, it's a little bit more difficult to ride. And here before, I was thinking about not electrifying it and just riding it around as it is because it was actually really easy to ride. But now when I ride it, I get winded and, and shit. It's, it's a real shame. And it's strange that the pedals squeak like that. So that's a real shame because before, this is like the first bike that I found easy to ride. I just... I start to feel like I'm going to throw up whenever I have to ride a bike because I'm kind of a weak person. So this bike will be great for electrification, just it won't be great for just riding by itself anymore. That's a real shame. So that squeaking sound does not happen whenever I coast, so it's definitely not anything back here. And it always happens at the exact two places of rotation on the front, so it's not the chain. It's something to do with that. Unless it's these that are squeaking. I don't know. It's strange. It's always it squeaks whenever this is here, and it always squeaks whenever it's here. And only whenever I'm really pedaling. Oh well. Well, this will be a good e bike. <laughs> and I just, just kind of realized something. I did not weld that on straight at all. Look at that. Holy fuck. I might fix that, but if it works, it works. Whatever. Well, I am kind of happy that I greased this. Kind of disappointed that it became so hard to pedal, though. It's just like every other bike I've had. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya!